In this video, let's go through making a mesh bin with sheet metal, something like this. I made this real quick and it should be kind of easy to show how if you need to bend something like mesh or have highly detailed uh, holes in your sheet metal pattern that these kinds of things are indeed possible in a Libre. So we can unbend and rebend. Let's get to it. So this is for the expert license users as expert has our sheet metaling environment. So here I am in the sheet metaling environment. We're going to select, how about our ZX plane? I'll activate a sketch and I'm gonna go with a center rectangle and we'll make a dimension. We'll make this oh five and nine. And then I'll grab a horizontal constraint and select a horizontal line. That should be good for a base flange. So I'm going to deactivate the sketch and we'll select a uh, tab. And I'm going to take it with the default settings, of course, here. So I can make it one if I was, you know, very aggressive. That would be insanely thick, but uh, you can use your own parameters. Next, I'm gonna go with a flange. So we're gonna say flange, and I'm gonna leave the flange on the default settings, but you certainly can mess with uh, the flange elements around here. Uh, right, we're just gonna keep it all bent at 90 degrees. Yeah, that looks fine. And uh, I'll make this 1.5 and close. All right, next, we're gonna to wanna to edit this and uh, it sure wouldn't be fun to add a hex pattern into bent sheet metal. So I'm gonna go with unbend here, and that is different. I can click flat pattern and view what the flat pattern is, but I specifically want unbend and choose this fixed face and select all bends. And notice the difference, flat pattern, you just flatten it out, but unbend creates something in the history tree, and that's what we're after. So I'm gonna create a sketch, in fact, I'll do so on my uh, ZX plane yet again. And let's create our hex pattern. I just love my honeycomb hex patterns. I think it's really cool geometry. Great, so we have these two. We can move them independent of each other. No auto relations were accidentally added. We're gonna go with horizontal on both of these. I'm gonna make a construction line and draw it between our uh, hexagon shapes. We're gonna go with 90 degrees here. And then I want to give this a half inch overall height on one. There we go, half inch. And we'll get, make this a 10th of that, right? 50 thou. We'll grab a vertical constraint and we'll take the center of our hexagon and make sure that that is vertical. We'll grab a coincident and grab the edge here with the center and be coincident. And there we have that. So next I'm gonna to wanna to pattern this. We're gonna deactivate the sketch and I'm gonna choose a uh, extrude cut. So we're gonna choose cut right here and we're gonna go through all. Now I wanna pattern this. We're gonna choose our linear path. This edge will be fine. For spacing, I'm gonna say 0.952, and then I can adjust my number of instances. I'm gonna go with, just to make sure I have everything, I'm gonna go a little bit higher than I need at 14. And then I'm gonna choose a downward linear path. So I'm choosing this uh, vertical edge here. Our spacing, I'm gonna say 0.275 times two. And then instances, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna go with something like 24 instances. Again, probably more than I need, but make sure that I can uh, get it done. So that's our cut there. And then because we have a symmetrical pattern, I can simply uh, go with mirror and I'll choose my plane. And there we have it, so I'm gonna say okay. So we're able to get the pattern that we wanted in our sheet metal flat pattern. 
All I have to do now is select rebend and I'll select all unbent bends and OK. So there's a simple uh, mesh pattern that we can make. Of course, you can always add little sheet metal features like maybe a flange that will bend around and can be spot welded or something. But uh, I think for a basic exercise, this was a lot of fun. If this was helpful, please subscribe to the Libre channel. We'll see you in the next one.